Paige. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for doing this today. No, of course. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, this is Paige, one of our awesome account managers. And um, you've been here for what, like six months, same time as I have? Yeah. Yeah. A little over six months. Yeah. How's it going? It's okay. going great. Like it? Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, I really do. I love it. I love the flexibility that it has here and just like the team's willingness to like help in any way. It's been really cool. Yeah. Do you get to like chit chat with the team at all? Since we kind of have this remote lifestyle out with, I was just kind of wondering like what the account managers all talk about and like, do you guys slack together or what do you guys do? <laughs> yeah. So we jump on calls pretty frequently. I jump on a huddle, which is how we communicate through Slack. Um, Nice. at least once or twice a day. Um, I'll ask a question and then I'm just like, you know what, we're just going to huddle. And sometimes it turns into just like office, office talk where it's like, how was your weekend? What did you do yeah. today? Um, so we can still get that, like that bonding and that communication that you get from an office, but mm -hmm. from home. So we still get to have those, those times and kind of grow together and learn more about each other. Nice. And you're in Texas. So you're with Austin's over there. Yes. Like, uh, who else is over there? Anyone? I don't Dawson? think so. Dawson think over there? Does Dawson he is in, I don't know how to pronounce where she is. I can't remember off the is top of my head. Is she in a different part of Texas? Yes. Her okay. and Katie from PBC are both okay. um, on like different parts or in different parts of Texas than me and yeah. Austin. Okay, nice. Do you like ever go hang out with Austin in the office and yeah. gather and stuff? And how's that? Yeah, it's super fun. Um, we live like on a good day, like in the middle of a Tuesday. It's like yeah, I can get down there in like 10 minutes and he can come up oh, here. Nice. Um, so when there's no traffic, it's we live super close. When there's traffic, it's like yeah. an hour away from each other. Um, yeah. but I'll go down to like he lives in like the downtown area. And so I'll go down there and work from like a coffee shop and he'll come sit with me or oh, nice. um, we'll take like a lunch break and go get happy hour, get some appetizers or something from like a local bar or local restaurant, which is super yeah. fun. So That's we still so have fun. That personal interaction with the team. So it's super oh, yeah. nice. That's awesome. And you have a dog, yeah. so you can stay home with your dog, right? I do. She, she I, yes. <laughs> she <laughs> do you like that? It. Yeah. Um, sure. She really does. Um, all day, every day. She's typically like right here, like laying on me <laughs> and she's like almost a hundred pounds. So she's massive. So when she lays on me, like only her front paws can like be up here in her head. Her like yeah. her has to like stay on the ground, which is super funny, but. That is funny. I'm sure she's super happy to have you home a lot of the time. <laughs> yes. With our yes. company being like this remote lifestyle, um, how do you see that us being able to work from home and you like working with Austin in the office every once in a while, but mainly this remote um, like lifestyle goes in favor for our home service clients. And how does that kind of be a pro instead of a con? Yeah. So I would say like a pro for that is the fact that we're not as like easily distracted. Um, yeah. And like, there is like a give or take with that as well. Like you're at home. So like you think like, oh, you're working from home. So like, you're going to be distracted by the laundry and the dishes and like things like that. But you're really not like, and when you're in an office, you also have distractions. Um, when you're in an office, like everyone's knocking on your door. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go get lunch? Do you want to go get yeah. a, a treat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But when you're working from home, like you don't have that. And so it's easier to like really dive into accounts and really get like active with your clients and be able to be there for them. And, um, just be super flexible with that. And it's just easier to kind of like adapt because you don't have, you don't have the worries of like, oh, well, I told Sally that I'd go get lunch with her. Like you can, you can work yeah. through lunch or you can push your lunch or whatever you need to do to like, make sure that you have everything ready for your client. Or if your client needs anything, you're always, always available because you're always at home. So it's super easy. Yeah. Totally. And I think from what I've seen, like hopping on meetings and talking with Stephen and Andrew in the office a lot, I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but our teams are built um, in, a, in a way with personalities that all fit together. And so teams are super 
um, have the ability to be super like proactive and responsive towards these like more important, you know, deadlines or something. And I think that might be also really like pro to being remote and having these teams set up the way that we do and having um, a, a rate of account managers be like tasked to clients that fit personality styles. Is oh, for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like the personality style like has a huge role in it. And like, especially as like an account manager, like mm -hmm. the clients that you're put with, like I know Steven and Andrew and Holly and Austin, like when they're, when they get a new account, they're like, okay, Paige's personality will fit this, this yeah. client particularly. And Brandon mm -hmm. will do super well with this person and Jack and Jocelyn, they're just going to connect so well with this person. But like, if they put me with one of like Brandon's clients, like it would work yeah. in a way, but it wouldn't work as like, it wouldn't work as seamlessly yeah. with that client. So it's super nice, like being able to have a team that like knows us so well and that can like put us with clients that are going to, that are going to thrive with each, with each one of our account managers. Yeah. That's awesome. And do they put you with like a PPC specialist that's kind of more aligned with your personality and like response style and all of that stuff? Um, yeah, I think it's more so like PPC and like SEO. Um, yeah. I feel like when they're doing that, it's more so along the lines of what the client needs because they're okay. not as client facing as we are. Um, so it's more so like, oh, Katie has a lot of experience with this style of client. So I'm going to put Katie with them. Yeah. And since everyone's remote, like we can hire from anywhere. So like mm -hmm. get the best expertise as we like need for certain situations. Exactly. And that's a huge yeah. pro with being remote is like, yeah, you're not just limited to some small area. area. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, every Monday we have a team meeting. You have to be here. Like that would be really hard for WIT because <laughs> right. people work in Colorado, some work in Texas, some work in Georgia. So it's like, yeah, it's super cool because we can get people from literally anywhere yeah. and have them join this amazing team. So super yeah, cool. um, to kind of like wrap everything up. So like you said, you've been working for a little bit over six months. What's like one really proud thing that you like remember the last six months of being an account manager and what was like one time that was really hard and that maybe your team was there for you to like help you figure yeah. things out or like you figured things out or like <laughs> a good one and a bad one. <laughs> yeah. So I would say we'll do the bad one first. Um, yeah. Just not having enough knowledge, like coming into it and like not being prepared, like in some of my client, like meetings right. and like coming out of it being like, come on Paige, like you were just like yeah. weren't prepared enough. And so going into the next meeting, like making sure, like I learned from like that one experience of like not being like a hundred percent on the ball thinking I was, but ended up not being yeah. and learning from that experience. And then my team, like being there, like, Hey, been there, done that. Like, yeah, we know, we know the struggle and just like encouraging me, like, it's okay. Like, it's okay to mess up. It's okay to like, not to not to think you're fully prepared, but then to like not be. And um, they were super awesome and just like encouraging me and like giving me tips on what I can do better next time. And then yeah. um, just growing from that. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's, I guess that's the bad and good. Um, yeah. But, Double um, whammy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would just say that the good one is like when a client's like, wow, you sound like I had a client meeting yesterday and it just made me feel so good because she was like, Sounds like you've been giving like giving this bill for years. And I was like, You're like, thank you. Oh. Like thank you so much. Like that made me feel so good. So just yeah. like having your client just like reiterate that you're doing a good job is just super awesome. No, that's like gotta be the best feeling ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm not doing something correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like after like thinking like, oh, am I doing a good job? And then someone's like, Yeah, you're doing a good job, just makes you feel really good. So yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, what else do you have like going on today? Any more meetings? Going to take no. your dog on a walk? Um, I'll probably end up taking my dog on a short walk, um, but not much. Like I'm going to finish up some work. Um, I have to go to my hometown to visit a friend. So nice. getting off and then driving two hours to go there. But other than that, super easy day. Yeah, <laughs> fun. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.